Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you all doing this afternoon? Great. Thank you so much. My name is Beverly Mutindi Chogo. I am the co founder of Sophie Bot and the Her Voice Fund Ambassador in Kenya. A little, a little more of that uh, in a few minutes. But for now, allow me to indulge you in a short story. There's a young girl called Sophie. Sophie is 17 years old, and she has a boyfriend who is 20 years old. You see, it has been said that men use love to get sex while women use sex to get love. Is, is that true? Yeah. Well, this story isn't any different. You see, Sophie's boyfriend asked her to prove her love for him by sleeping with him and to further prove it not to use any sort of protection. And because Sophie so dearly loved this young boy, she easily gave in to her demands. Months later, Sophie is pregnant and HIV positive. And as expected, this young boy does not want to take any responsibility. And you see, this story isn't too uncommon in Kenya and largely in Africa. But why is this the case? I always wonder if Sophie had the right information, would this have been her fate? You see, in the African context, talking about sex is considered a taboo. And so as a young person, I cannot go to, um, to my parents, to a teacher, or generally an older person who is more informed and talk to them. Consequently, the educating role has largely been left to mainstream media and the internet, which is obviously not a good idea, as information from these sources are often misleading. You find that you find that even more often than not, young people talk to their peers who are equally misinformed about these issues. So to solve the issue of access to credible information um, in real time and awkwardness in talking about sexual and reproductive health, I created SophieBot. And as it was said before, SophieBot is artificial intelligence that answers young people's questions on sexual and reproductive health while guaranteeing them anonymity. We have had quite a good traction uh, since inception, and within just six months, we had over 2,000 downloads of the app and over 13,000 questions being asked across all our platforms. And how does SophieBot work? SophieBot is, think of Siri for SRH. So how it works is that we, fit, we feed this intelligent system with credible information from organizations in the ecosystem, while at the same time, this information is relayed to its users via conversations driven by chat. So we have various platforms, which include social, um, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, and the main product being the Android mobile app. As I mentioned, we have had quite good traction. And it has been said that Africa Rising, the narrative of Africa Rising, isn't about natural resources, but it is about technological revolutions such as SophieBot. And clearly, SophieBot is a futuristic solution that will efficiently solve the, the gap of access of as a SRH information in young people. The improvement of SophieBot intelligence system has been work in progress, and we are currently undergoing an optimization phase where we are seeking to deploy natural language processing, which will enable SophieBot to easily recognize the various formats that a one question can be asked, and therefore answer these questions efficiently. But here's the thing. The issue isn't just access to information. I'm sure you'll agree with me on that. It's a, it's a complex web. There are so many issues into it, and one of them includes policy issues. Ever heard of Global Fund? Earlier on, we had the executive director giving a very amazing, um, very amazing power stage talk earlier on. And he mentioned just a little bit about a Her Voice initiative. I am here to tell you more about it. So Her Voice initiative, um, Her Voice is a response, is Global Fund's initiative in response to the HIV and AIDS pandemic in Africa, particularly in 13 African countries where adolescent girls and young women are disappro disappropriately affected. So her voice is based on the principle that AGYW have a vital role to play in driving and shaping the HIV response. That their needs and their experiences must be at the central when it comes to uh, policy formation, program design, and also when it comes to the implementation of these programs. So which I'm convinced is the right path to take in, in, in stepping up the fight against HIV and AIDS in young people. We all have a role to play. 
you do have a role to play as a big sister, big brother, uncle, father. And we all need to step up the fight against HIV and AIDS in ending the pandemic by 2030. So I will ask you this question. You have been asked very many questions, I'm sure, by the various presenters who are here. So now my question is how will you participate in stepping up the fight against HIV and AIDS amongst young people, particularly in adolescent girls and young women. Power to you people. You have the power. Let's do this. We can end the pandemic. Thank you very much. Thank you. So much, Beverly. Thank wow. You. Yes. Just soak that in. There was a lot of love <laughs> and applause for that, for I think your ingenuity and for your passion and for thinking in new ways about how to solve a crisis that's been there for a yes. while. Yes, yes, it's been there. Decades now. Yeah. It's Unforgivable. Crazy. I know Crazy. everybody here cares about it, yeah. but I think it's this new thinking that's going to help us because prevention, or um, let's see, suppression as prevention has worked a bit, yeah. but we see rates going up. Why? And that's, that's not where we want to be. No. Yeah. That is certainly not where we want to be because we are going to. It's interesting that while we are, the HIV rates are going down amongst our peers, it's going up. Yeah, exactly. So where does that leave Africa? Where does that leave Africa? Teenage pregnancy going up, rates of HIV going up, you get it the same way, right? It's yeah. all sex. So I love that you're bringing technology yeah. to something that's a social and a cultural and a sexual, a deeply human issue. Yeah. So what are some of the things you learned just about working with technology as an approach to solving both a health and a social issue like all HIV? Right. Okay, so. Well, maybe it should have been part of my presentation, but we all know that young people are constantly on their phone. Yeah. So they're constantly on social media, they're constantly on Instagram. But then again, where, which sites are they using? Are they getting, yeah. is it productive time? Is it time, is it information that they will use to impact their lives positively? So we decided to bring in SophieBot, where young people are constantly on their phone. So SophieBot is like a friend. Yeah. So you just have this friend online who's there constantly available to answer your questions. Yeah. So the good thing or the beauty about technology is that technology can easily be scalable. I can tell you for sure only 46% of our users are Kenyan. The rest are spread out ac across Africa. That is so great. And you find that we have questions in Portuguese, in French, <laughs> in Spanish. You're like, yo, Sophie what can only take questions yeah. in English. So Sophie when needs we a want translator. <laughs> Yeah, so, and that's, that's part of our growth plan, where we are able to translate this and we'll be able to impact more young people across Africa, not just in Anglophone countries, but even Francophone and other countries that yeah. do not speak English. And Indian. around the world. And, and around the world, yeah. Do you find there are regional differences in terms of the questions that get asked or how people use SophieBot? No, not really. It's like, the same it's, need. It's the same. This, the, the need is the same. The context might be different, but the needs are the same. Every young person is concerned about, um, will I get HIV? How will I know I'm getting HIV? And, and it was earlier mentioned that you find that young people are not so concerned about HIV and AIDS. Which is scary. Which is scary. Yeah. So now our work is to dig deeper. What is, it, what is it that they're more yeah. interested in? I have but total faith you're going to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you that. so much. Thank I'm you. so glad you were here with us today. Thank you very Let's much. Let's give her a great warm round of applause. Keep going.